What's going on, y'all? There are so many beautiful people in our communities and we want to meet them all and share their stories with you. I'm Jabari Thomas. Good morning. The St. Pete community is known for its creativity and at Coastal Creative, its founder is giving all artists a place to call home. Hey, you know what? If you're a creative person like me, you're probably looking for that creative outlet and you probably need a space for that outlet. Lucky for you, I found one St. Pete man who loves his community. So he created a space for all the creators right here. So we are not a nonprofit company, but we do try to um, allow entrance into our, our space and creative space as cheap as possible for the local community. Yeah. So at Coastal Creative, we have four main workspaces. We have our podcast studio, we have a cyclorama wall, which is behind me, and we have warehouse A and warehouse B and a small green room. Professional high-end production companies, weddings, corporate events, and those people, we know we still work with them on a weekly basis, but we also try to keep space for our local creative community. And for those guys, we try to make it as affordable as possible. Um, we allow them to use lights, backdrops, props, art, any kind of element in the studio at no additional cost. And that's you know a big part of why we opened up is to give a creative space for anybody just starting or just cutting their teeth in the industry. It's really great to see that the barrier of entry here is not that high for people. Uh, it's a lot of work on our end. It's a lot of upkeep and just constant, you know, just improvements and painting and patching holes in the wall. But just to have that buzz of good energy always in the building is really what keeps us motivated. Is we're so busy, we don't have time to do workshops or teachings ourselves, but we work with local uh, community leaders, teachers, professors, and they come in, we give them the space at no cost, and they're able to have workshops and stuff. And so we go out and we have our big jobs, which pay the bills, and then we're able to come back and allocate that energy and what we learned back into the community. Yes, indeed, creating a space for local creators, because you know, things are, you know, it costs a lot of money, and this guy gives uh, his community a discount so that they can make yeah, podcasts and have shows there and make films there or whatever they need. Yeah, have for all of them. Mm -hmm. I do want to see you on the acrobatic swing. I can, I'm, I'm going to get on that Dude, thing for you. Test it out. Because you've been talking about that all morning. <laughs> I'm going to have to get up there and do some spinning.